Organizers say the Veteran Dayton Air Show attracted tens of thousands of visitors and brought in millions of dollars this past weekend. Two News reporter Catherine Ross explains why it's the organizers who are flying high today. After a busy weekend, things are finally starting to wind down here at the air show. Organizers tell me that after several bumpy years, this year's show was smooth sailing. A high-flying lineup and nice weather meant soaring attendance for the 2018 air show. We're hoping that those numbers climb and climb and climb. That attendance climbed to its highest point since 2014. Staff is still counting the ticket sales, but a preliminary tally Monday morning came to 62,000 visitors. What a day we have. The past two years saw dwindling attendance because of poor weather and canceled headlining acts. Organizers say this year's performers generated some extra buzz. It's huge. We walked around yesterday while the blues were flying and the people are going, oh, it's been so long. And, you know, two years in a row, we lost our featured act. And that excitement translated to revenue. The air show raked in an estimated $3.2 million in local economic impact. Staff hopes to keep up the momentum and credits the success to volunteers, performers, and an enthusiastic audience. We hear a lot of feedback about how wonderful a place Dayton is to come, the birthplace of aviation, um, but just it's, it's, it's how they're treated. Even though they're still cleaning up from this year's show, they're already planning ahead for next year. Organizers say that planning meetings start tomorrow, and the featured act, the Thunderbirds, are already booked for 2019. In Vandalia, Catherine Ross, 2 News, working for you.